Well, we're back. Back at camp, we ran to town and made an appointment for the truck. They couldn't get it in until Friday, so we're just gonna have to deal with the strap we have rigged up to hold the gas tank up. Should be fine as long as we don't get into anything really crazy, but good news is we got the bow fixed, I think. It was working fine when he shot it at the bow shop, so, well, he changed the string is what it was. The string here that makes the drop away rest work it was all frayed up inside and it just quit working at the wrong time i have no words really why or why i had to quit right then at that shop but it did and it's time for redemption i'm going to shoot my bow make sure everything's still good and we're going to go out and kill an elk well we're going to head out and go back to where we were last night and just yeah we're trying to be positive that it's going to be the they're gonna still be up there and we can get something going again. Hopefully. I shot my bow and everything is dialed in. I had to move my sight a little bit to the right, but other than that, everything shot really nice. So I'm really happy it was that simple. This time, if I get a chance, it's not gonna be my bow's fault if I mess up. Well guys, we just heard a bull bugle. He's just a little bit farther down than he was yesterday. On the same side of the canyon. But we know the wind is bad for coming over the top. It's just not gonna work. So we just went up the worst of this hill. And now we're gonna go down into the valley. Try coming up from the bottom. Hopefully the thermals are dropping in a little bit here. There's shadows on that hill, so. We'll see if we can get back on him.
is like kind of okay-ish from where they were last night, but who knows where they're at this morning. I bugled two times, I haven't heard anything, so. We haven't got them to bugle in the morning in the past. I don't know why, it's really weird. You'd think they'd bugle in the morning, but not sure what our plan is. Just keep feeling the wind, I guess. Oh man, it's real, it is real. Talk about a dead morning. Went up on the ridge, the wind was completely wrong, blowing right to where they bed. I was planning to work that ridge and try to find them. We decided to back out because we're just not gonna risk spooking them out of there. I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably try to come in from the bottom again tonight. Go shoot a raghorn. I'm against that action. Zez is completely set on shooting a big bull now. <laughs> I just want to kill that one. That one. That's I don't shoot I'm anything. Any legal bull. Let's go find something to eat. Yeah. So we hiked up to our glassing mountain to see if we could see some elk, obviously. And we've been up here since like 1.30. I'm not surprised we haven't seen anything really because it's so hot. The last couple nights they were bugling by this time, but it could be the heat. It's like Five, after 5.30 right now. I really, really hope they didn't leave this basin, but never know. But tomorrow, we're probably not gonna hunt because we got we gotta go into town and get the truck fixed, so. We're gonna sit up here a while and see if we can spot anything. Maybe as it cools down, it'll get up and start bugling, but I don't know if we'll have time to make a play or not. It's way down there. And up, down and up. Brutal. Wow, I look rough. <laughs> well guys, today we're gonna just go into town and take a break. We need it. Truck, we gotta get the truck fixed, but we'll probably stay most of the day in town, so probably won't be much hunting today. So, that's what it looks like. Get, re get a fresh start Saturday, I guess. Go kill a bull. Okay guys, we're up here on a new spot for this year, but we hunted this like crazy last time we were here. We just haven't been in here and that's the way I prefer it because I hate hunting here, but I haven't even seen any elk the last two days. No bugles, no elk, it's been hot, but now we got people rolling in everywhere. We're a little discouraged, but we decided we're gonna come out here. We're gonna at least see some elk, and we might go get a motel tonight. I'm not sure, and regroup and try to figure something out. It's hard to regroup when you only got two guys, right? <laughs> okay, make a different plan. We're gonna look at some maps, probably, and whatever. But maybe we'll kill one this morning. There's like probably a hundred down there, but I don't know if they'll come up here or if they'll go over there. You never know. Yeah, he definitely only has one side. Like the other one's just snapped off. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think so. Ow. We're back at camp. Just got here. Stayed the night at a motel last night and rested up. And now I think we're ready to get back out there and hunt, hopefully. Oh, I don't know about Zay, he's already sitting down. It cooled off a lot, so hopefully they're bugling again. Our plan is, I guess, to stay here for the next couple days. If we can't get anything going here, we're gonna move to a different spot for the rest of the time for probably three, four days and then It'll be either all or nothing at that point. So one good thing is there's nobody here. It's actually a Sunday. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen anybody. There's nobody back here right now. So maybe we can get something going tonight. 
we're gonna head up into that area where we were into the bugling elk earlier last week and just see if we can get them going again. I mean, the rush should be picking up and it cooled off a little bit today. Maybe we'll, we can get them bugling right now, but we'll probably spend most of the day and just see if we can into the evening and just see if anything will talk and see if they're still in here.
he came that time. And then he went down the hill. Came and I back. called him back up. And then he went down the hill. And I called again and he came over here. I had a shot at 56 yards. But I wasn't going to take it. Because oh, yeah. there was two branches about this high from my line of view right in the middle above him. Oh, and I wasn't, I'm not sure, confident enough what the arch of my arrow does yeah. in between there because it was about right in between. I was so tempted. I was like, there's no way I'm taking that shot. Yeah. But man, there were so many times where if you had taken just like 10 more yards and I would have had a perfect shot. How insane was that encounter, guys? Another encounter in the books and no shot. Besides that one shot I had a 56 yards and there were some sticks where I was pretty sure my arrow would arch and I was just not taking that risky shot. I, I always feel better about it if I just don't take a risky shot and if it could potentially screw it up and you're going to feel really bad and lose your confidence. So that's the way I look at it and I just try not to take those shots but not that I haven't but live and learn. At this point we're kind of, now that we found elk again, we're kind of, we might stay here, we might not. We'll see what tomorrow holds. Well we're at this spot we were at the other day, Saturday I think. There's one other vehicle but I think I see another one coming. I don't understand, I'll never understand why people come in late like that. But the herd is still way out there. We'll see what happens. We have two little bulls moving up the valley right now. Not even sure if they're illegal. They might just be spikes. It's hard to tell from here. It's kind of angling over to our left, but we'll see. Maybe we'll try to move in on them and see what they are. Well, guys, we have a real winner down here in the valley. Even though he knows there's three other trucks here, he just takes off down in the flats where you don't have a chance. There's two out coming up the valley, straight up towards us. And he just starts walking out in the open down there, about 300 yards away from him. And of course they kick over that way. Oh my goodness. I don't know what his plan is. I would think they are, but yeah. I got four inch eye guards. I don't know, we'll see. I don't think they're gonna come up here. So we came back to camp and got something to eat and now we're gonna head back in and try the wallow again. I think we're gonna take the stands down today just so we don't have them back there if we decide to move or something. And if we decide to hunt it again, probably just sit on the ground like we did last two years ago or whatever. So we're gonna get back there and hopefully something will work. Well, as you guys can see, it's daylight, and we're super late, the sun's up. We tried going where we went yesterday morning, and there was two cars going in ahead of us, and I was like, screw it, let's just go around to where we saw that 5x5 five five where we stalked in the other day. We're gonna go in there, we're definitely late, part of the reason we're late. Part of it's because we went, tried going somewhere else and then decided to come here. But then, when we got all the way up here on the mountain, 
I remembered, or I couldn't find my sidearm, and I remembered the last having it was I laid it on the table back at camp. I, I just didn't trust anybody not to swipe it. It's laying out there in the open, so we drove all the way back down the mountain, got the handgun, and came all the way back up. So now we're gonna go in there and see if we can kill a bull. Well, <laughs> this morning has been an utter disaster. We got about halfway to where we wanted to go, and all of a sudden I looked down the hill and there's a guy. And so, I mean, he was right where we wanted to go, so I decided, well, we'll go talk to him. So we went down there. Here there's three guys, and they were actually coming into my bugle. I didn't hear them bugle. I think they might have bugled, but... Anyway, they were from Wisconsin, too, actually. Anyway. So we came back up the way we came. We're sitting on the hill just like shooting the breeze. And we actually, we heard two more bugles down that direction. I'm just going to assume that it's them bugling. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a bull. I, but it would be really embarrassing to go down there and find out it's just them. So, And if it's not them, I'm sure they've heard it too. And they're probably going to go after it. Although maybe they're thinking the same thing. Nah, they're not. <laughs> But anyway, I think we kind of made up our minds finally. There's just, with those guys in here, and I'm sure there's going to be more people towards the weekend. I think our best bet is to, well, I don't know if it's our best bet, but we're going to do it. we got three days left, four with today, and we're going to hike in to the spot we had talked about hiking in earlier. And get way back in there and just... Hopefully we can get into some new country, get into some new elk, and actually find some elk that want to talk, and go kill something at the last. It's kind of an all or nothing move, and I'm fine with that. I'll take the risk. It's probably as good as it gets. Yeah. We're gonna head out and try to find a high spot where we can listen and glass and stuff. We'll see. I really don't know where to go. It's kind of dumb because where we're at, we're not super far from the truck actually. It was just a super miserable drive in here. I really don't want to have to do that more than twice. Once in, once out. Best way is probably to go back up to the truck and then there's a trail that cuts along the ridge. But I don't feel like going back up to the truck just ruins the atmosphere, you know? So we're gonna cut up, try to cut up here just to get a high point and just look around. Get a feel for this. So, here goes nothing. I take back what I said about this looking like the hills in Wisconsin. Yeah. This one may be short, but it's steep. Hopefully I'm not losing weight because I don't really need that. I can't really afford it. So I'm going to make another hole in my belt. And by the way, I keep forgetting to mention, which is really dumb, that we will be giving away this knife that's making a hole in my belt right now. Very <laughs> appeasing. Appealing, I mean. Appeasing? Not appeasing, appealing. We'll be giving away this knife, which is super cool. It's got changeable blades. It's Havilon. Not sure what. <laughs> And this Vortex Impact rangefinder that I'm using, it'll be cleaned up a little bit better. <laughs> it'll come in the box with the case and all that stuff. But after this elk hunt sometime, we'll be giving away these two things. And the cool thing about this, the Vortex, is they have a lifetime warranty. So 
if it gives out or whatever, you can just send it in and they'll send you a new one. So that's pretty sweet. All right, speed it up. I'm about to fall off the cliff. Okay, Zay's about to fall off the cliff, so I'm done. Goodbye. Well, guys, if nothing else, we've sure had the views. So awesome out here. Beautiful country. Just huge country, though. When you think about finding elk in this country, it's like, wow. It's like how. Yeah, how. We've seen a lot of elk tracks, but I think they're like a week old or something. It's pretty awesome, though. It's a big hike from camp, though. Man, that's an understatement. Well guys, good news, good sign. We just spotted an elk. I think it's just a spike, but it's an elk. We know there's elk in here. I was pretty sure there was because there was a lot of tracks and a lot of crap and I mean there's a lot of sign, fresh rubs, everything. Awesome. Well guys, guess what we did this morning? <laughs> we slept in. It was windy, rainy, and just nasty out here. When my alarm went off and I was just, no excuses. I just shut it off and went to sleep. I don't know. This is awesome country, but I only saw that one elk last night. I know there's elk in here, but it is tough country. So I really don't know what the plan is for today. Probably just put on some miles. It's very quiet and we are very tired. <laughs> I think both of us are about shot. Yeah. It's gonna be a grind for the next day or two. We're sitting on the side of a mountain thinking of all the things that we want to eat right now. <laughs> Just want some good old Just imagine Thanksgiving right now. <laughs> Shut up. I don't <laughs> think about it. Oh my goodness. The pies. Turkey. Turkey stuffing. Oh, the works, stuffing. man. Mashed taters. You don't like stuff? Oh, mashed stuffing. taters. Oh my goodness. Take me to Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. Let's get a time machine. Oh. Food. We love it. Well, guys, I think this has turned into more of a hike than an elk hunt. <laughs> it has been so slow. And we just dropped way down in a canyon. You gotta go the whole way back up at some point. We are tired, but it's awesome, man. This endeavor of moving to a different spot has the best scenery, but not the best outcome. Let's just say <laughs> that. <laughs> Back at camp, talk about a elkless bow hike today. Probably went 15 miles, just nothing. But saw a lot of good scenery, shot a grouse that we're cooking up right now. Have some mountain house, some grouse, maybe some hot chocolate. Just get some food in our stomachs and maybe we'll feel better. Well guys, you probably are wondering what we're doing in the truck. And the reason is, we're just about ready to head for bed. Zay was already in bed. And I looked at the weather and it looks like we're gonna get some really nasty stuff. Snow, sleet, rain, everything imaginable. And I'm not scared of hunting in that stuff as long as I'm gonna hike out to the truck and we can get out on a decent road. But these roads are terrible, really. We're, we drove way up here and I can, I'm just having nightmares about snowy, slushy, messy, muddy roads on mountainsides that just go way down. So we're going to get out of here. As dead as it was, it's not worth staying anyway. 
We're gonna go to town, see if we can maybe get a hotel room tonight here. Yeah, if they're still open, but otherwise we might be sleeping in the truck. just sitting there and say I was like there's an elk it was like 400 yards down the mountain coming up kind of on an angle away from us so we cut through here quickly as fast as we could can't go too fast because they see your legs going through here but it was a good six by six it's crazy he was just coming right up here got probably within a hundred yards of him but he was already up above us by the time we broke through here and so I was like, well, maybe I can get him with a cow call. Hit the cow call, he whirl just like that and just took off. He's definitely heard that before. That six point came up the valley, almost caught us off guard, and I just saw the tail end of the herd just going behind that hill. I don't know where they go, but I'm guessing they go to private. But I don't, I think that's pretty much it. I think they're all gone, but looks like it's gonna be just a lot of nasty weather. We were thinking about staying tonight yet and hunting here tomorrow again. I think we're just gonna pull out from here. So, guess I am not gonna get one this year again. I don't know, it doesn't bother me too bad. I mean, I, we had a great trip and just had some great encounters. Got to knocked the one thing off my bucket list and that was getting some bulls to bugle on the national forest land and well first of all finding bulls over there because last time we didn't find anything over there except for the one we shot but we never saw him until right then at the wallow and we shot him but finding bulls over there and calling in a bull and getting a shot and that was basically our big chance right there, which was awesome, except for the fact that my rest froze up. Should have had a bull on the third day, or second day, or whatever it was. But maybe next time. It's elk hunting. Elk hunting is super hard, and especially with archery equipment, and a high-pressured unit. It's just tough to even find them, and then you gotta make it happen, and there's so many things that can go wrong, but that's what makes it fun. If it was easy, it would be, it'd be too easy. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. Guys, just remember that we're gonna be giving away this rangefinder and this knife that I'm wearing, Havilon knife, that I didn't get to use, except for I did use it on a grouse, but not on an elk. All these things, will clean them up good and everything, and somebody will win them. We'll let you guys know what you gotta do to win those once I get back home and we can think a little bit more, but we're gonna head out of here and get home, get some food, get a good meal for once, and get back to whitetail hunting, I guess. It's been fun, can't wait till next year. <laughs>